Hey guys, thanks for watching this part two of the series of the Toyota Corolla build. Now, this episode, we're gonna go over two things. That's gonna be the mounting and placement of the oil cooler and routing of the hoses to the oil feed and return line. And lastly, the two fans versus the one fan setup because for one, the single fan setup on the vehicle, it was too wide. Uh, it's not that it was too wide. I mean, an engineer engineered it for a reason like that, right? No, it was too wide as in, it's gonna take up too much space in the engine bay for us with the turbo setup that we wanna build. And we needed to reduce some of that space, weight, and the dual fan setup is honestly gonna work a little bit better and it's less of a power drain as far as amperage goes. So that's gonna save us a little bit of uh, power as, as far as the battery goes. Now, we only mounted the fans today because like I said, the space issue, I couldn't get the oil cooler hoses to wrap around it without kinking. So when you see that, you'll see why we ended up putting the fans on today. It's not a big deal. It was really only two wires that we cut and that was the power and the ground wire to the fan. And really it's just a switch to turn it on and off. But I'll go over that with you and I'll show it to you here in a bit. Just uh, once again, if you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever, please leave a comment behind and also please subscribe right chat. Thanks. Bye. Where do you want to put it? We need to clean this up because I can't have this just like chilling like this. Let me get a zip tie. That should work. I just made a hole right there. Attached it. should really only need this one bolt and it's not like this thing's gonna be moving a lot so can you pass, pass me a, a flat tip screwdriver they're right behind boom done Price is way too high, you need to cut it. Alright, so we're gonna start putting this together. Got this on, looks really nice. I don't know if you can see it. Alright, it's clean. Um, I'm gonna run a clamp on it just to make sure it's really snug and it shouldn't come off. But just to be safe, I'm gonna run a clamp on it anyways. Cut the excess off of it.
This goes right there, though, right? These are supposed to go in the other side. Oh, that's supposed to go in one of these. See how there's two? Yeah. Yeah, those go on hoses. Like this car. We need to cut this now. This is our first hose. Let's cut the size. We need to uh fix this though. See the tip's kind of jagged. You want it smooth and nice. This way it goes on nicely. Um, I don't know what I'm going to cut it with though. <laughs> Outlet to the uh, oil cooler adapter. I just need to clamp to it now. So I don't think it needs this, but we're just gonna add it just so it doesn't leak. Because I have a feeling that adapter plate's gonna leak. But it's trial and error. I'm gonna mess up to find out what you need to fix. This is the first thing, first thing a turbo should have, right? Well, there's a lot of things you need to have for the turbo. Because this is one of the things you should have an oil cooler, because you're going to have oil going into the turbo. The turbo's hot. So, like, you need, hot. Yeah, so you need to cool it. Because the turbo, it uses exhaust gas. Exhaust gas is hot. Here you can see it. It's gonna go over there. You see it? Yeah. It's gonna wrap around really weird. Take it off from up there. We'll put it. We'll put it. Just take it off from up there. We're gonna put it down here first because it's.
it up we just made some holes on the whatever that frame piece is called I'm just about to write it down there Make sure it's not leaking. Yeah. Because we had a, long, a couple long, leaks. Long, whatever you want, man. All right. Well, After a long process. I go. And. It's good. What? Yeah. All we gotta do. Is Put the bumper back on and we're set. You can go ahead and turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, whoa. the car. Yeah, the car. I thought you meant the car. Oh. Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video on the Corolla build. Now, we only finished half of the project that I said I would put up tonight on this video, but the other half is coming up. We just need the reservoir and the fans and it's over for this little bit. And after that, we'll go over a couple of the things that we're gonna need for this, uh, I got grease on my face. <laughs> we'll go over the residual amount of things that we need for the build as far as like an oil catch can. I need the new horns because I need to get my state inspection here soon. And a couple other things, but thank you for watching again. Please, if you have any notes, comment below. And if you would like to subscribe, Please.
press this button right here, right here, where my dirty finger is. See it? Right there. 